help me out. A Jehovah Witness, Baptist. Yeah. Methodist. Methodist. Seven Day Adventist. Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah, Jehovah Witnesses. After their own thoughts. Because they think this way and they think that way. Right. Some are atheists, you know. Yep. Buddhists. Some are Buddhists. Some are of the benign faith. Yeah, but our people are all messed up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Hinduism, Hare Krishna. Yeah. yeah, do what thou wilt. Do do what thou as thou wilt. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. And how did the most I do that? He did it to us. We're the ones that's coming out, going out there trying to wake wake you up. But some are appointed to sleep. Even until the missiles come. And that's another thing, man. The scriptures speak about the end of the world, which the Alpha and, um, uh, Alpha and Omega ministries don't speak about. They don't deal with the end of the world. They don't deal with prophecies. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. See, back then we used to argue with people for hours. We don't argue no more. If we see that you can't get it, we'll say, excuse me, sir, can you just walk down the street? But I want to stay here. It's a free I said, okay, you can stay. You can stay here, sir. But you're not going to get it. And a lot of times I said, look, man, this ain't for you. Came straight out and said, this ain't for you, man. It says, three, a people that provoketh me to anger continually. To my face. So ultimately, what is the most I going to do to our people that haven't woken up? He's going to destroy them in a in a terrific fashion. It says a uh, Isaiah five uh, sixty five verse three. A people Israel that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice sacrifice in gardens. And burneth incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves, meaning among the dead, and lodge in. And they actually used to do that. They used to actually used to go out. That's called the Druids. All right, the men of the oak. They used to act. They, they got that from Israel, man. They used to go out secretly, and they used to worship their gods out there, and they used to eat. Uh, Swine flesh and the flesh of uh, 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 my, uh, mice and rats. They used to do it secretly. Then they come back and then they'll worship. And this is when they knew that they were Israelites. It says, A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice in gardens, and, burn, and the reason why they went out there into the woods because it was sec secretive, man. And burneth incense upon altars of bricks which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments. The modern monuments are these churches, these mosques, which eat swine flesh. And that goes to you uh, Christian denominations, you Baptists, you Methodists, and broths of abominable things uh, is in their vessels, which say stand, sorry, let me pull it down, which say stand, by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. That's that's them holy rollers. They wear all white, them old black women. And let the most I ain't dealing with them at all. All right? Which say, stand, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day long. It says, sick verse, behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will re recompense. I'm going to pay you back. Even re recompense unto their bosoms. The most I'm going to bring death to these people. Anyway, um, that's all I'm going to read on that. Uh, this, is the book, this is the book of 2 Kings 17 and uh, 9. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not good, that were not right against the Lord, their power. And they built them high places in all their cities from the tower of the watchmen unto the fenced cities. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. 
Yep, the growth of those churches. Yep, and they did this thing secretly. See, now they're doing it out in the open because they they have no clue what that represented. But back then, they were going secretly into the woods, uh, under groves, you know, and and worshiping these idols of the other nations. And there, that's why when uh, um, that's why when um, when um, uh, what's his name, Jeroboam set up those idols, the calves. They they freely worshipped it because they were already doing it anyway behind closed doors, so to speak. It says, and there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger, for they served idols where, excuse me, whereof the Lord had said unto them, "You shall not do this thing." Yet the Lord testified against Israel, and against Judah. By all the prophets, but wait a minute, are, are not is not Judah an Israelite? So you would you would tell me that this is talking about two different nations, like when it say, it says in the scriptures when it speak in the, in the New Testament when it speaks about Israelites, you know it's speaking about the Jews, you know. Yeah, when it mentions Israel, it's talking about the northern tribes, ah. the north uh, the northern kingdom. Yeah. Because you had the kingdom of uh, Israel, the southern kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, then you had the northern kingdom, which yeah. are the northern tribes. You know, it says, Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn you from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hardened their necks like to the neck of their fathers that did not believe in the Lord their power and they rejected his statutes and his covenants and his covenant and and he that he made with them with their fathers and uh, and his testimonies which he testified against them and they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them and they left all the commandments of the Lord, their power, and made them molten images and two calves and made a grove and worshipped all the hosts of heaven and served Baal. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire uh, uh, and use divination, use divinations and enchantments and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. Therefore, the Lord was very angry with Israel and remove them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. And scriptures like this is the reason why the Jews in Jerusalem did not accept any of those Israelites that were casted out back then. No, and that was that middle wall of partition, you know, where, where the Lord had to break down to be able to bring bring them back together. Yeah, which that's broken down through Yahweh Shai. That's right. Because Yahweh Shai came to gather all the 12 tribes that's right. of uh, Israel. Yeah, he destroyed that animosity, you know, and that you know, and that and that that uh, tension that they had with each other. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai made a statement. He said, "Other sheep I have that are not of this fold." John. What fold was he, he talking about? That's right. The fold of uh, Judah. Yeah. But the other sheep were the other tribes, and then we found out that, you know, as of late, because at the main school they didn't teach that. You had a scattering of the the tribes still left in Israel even after the Assyrian captivity. Because the, the Apostle James wrote, James, I'm, I'm here in James 1 and 1. James, the servant of the Heavenly Father and of the Lord Yahweh Shai to the 12 tribes. So he directed his letter to who? The 12 tribes, which are scattered abroad, greeted. Abroad meaning outside of Jerusalem. Outside of, uh, yeah, outside of Jerusalem. Which is where predominantly the Jews hang out. Jews being Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So you had a scattering of them, of uh, and some of among them, the northern tribes. That is, some of some of them were part of the elect, the elect of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai's sheep. That the statement that he made: "Other sheep I have that are not of this fold." You know, so it all goes back to Israel, Mister White. Mister. Uh, First Maccabee one forty eight that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. 
and that's going to be ha it's going to happen now too you know yeah, with the chip and that's why they have all this infiltration going on because they're trying to change the doctrine the way they did on the comfy's regime it says in the self same manner and under bubble eye blackfish regime and i'm not going to call you a i'm gonna call you bubble eye blackfish man you don't merit uh, a hebrew name in the self same manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people commanding the cities of judah to sacrifice city by city then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law and so they committed evils in the land verse 53 and drove the israelites into secret places even wheresoever they could flee for succor for help so those are the ones that wanted to keep the law that didn't want to break the the, the customs so they would run and they would hide but what would happen was these heathens would find them and then they will fight them like the faggots that they are you know they would fight them on the sabbath day when they knew that they wouldn't defend themselves so that they, it'll be an easy sling you know that's why judas maccabees his father you know Math mattathias and the rest of the maccabees they said look man we don't have to fight you know we can't just lay down like our brethren did on the sabbath day so they will fight whatever day it was you know and uh, maccabees was a high priest he wasn't just a priest he was a high priest when you go into the history it says they were levites but they were high priests all right it says a uh, chap uh second ezra chapter 2 verse 5 it says as for me O father i call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children that's talking about israel which would not keep my covenant and that's what you that's what we as a people did and that's why we're in the condition that we're in today hence deuteronomy the 28th chapter it says sixth verse that thou bring them to confusion that's why you're into uh some of you are into islam some of you are into uh comedic some of you are into the different church systems some of you are atheists you you're just all bugged out with all different type of philosophies and and ways of life it says um okay sixth verse again it says that thou bring them to confusion that's why when we speak to jake out there and we talk about the israelite they buck up Oh, I'm not an Israelite. The Israelites have done away with. Just like um a uh, James White of the uh Alpha and Omega, they said that the uh Edomites were done away with. Well, do a video showing at what time period and where did that take place where the where the Edomites were done away with. I'm, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. All right. They ain't, they ain't. All right. That's why they ain't gonna make a video of it. It says, and their mother. I'm sorry, sixth verse again, that thou bring them to confusion. And Jake is in a confused state right now. And their mother to a spoil that there may be no offspring of them, meaning their offspring is going to be cursed. Let them be scattered. So Israel scattered literally throughout the whole planet Earth. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. So a lot of you married among the heathen. So you got Israelites that look like Vietnamese. You got Israelites that look like Edomites. And you got Israelites that are pasty looking Edomites, white people. You got Edomites. I mean, you got Israelites that are super dark, look like uh, uh, real Africans, man. Look like Sudanese. You got tall black hermetic looking <laughs> israelites that you think they're the hamites man but they're israelites israel comes in all shapes and sizes man and they look like everybody under the sun it says uh it says seven again it says let them be scattered and they were scattered the verse up above that in the sixth verse it says that thou bring them to confusion they were confused seven verse again let them be scattered abroad among the heathen that's why you look like the heathen and and do the, the practices of the heathen hence when you go to the new testament when it speaks about the gentiles it's talking about israelites that grew up thinking that they were heathen man or gentiles it says 
It says, let their names be put out of the earth. Because at one time, man, all we knew, we was African-American or black or former slave or whatever the hell or whatever name you came up with. Let me read that again. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen, the other nations. Let their names be, what, what, is, what is their names? Uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. And then you got the different names. You know, Tahar, uh, Arayim Lav, uh, help me out, uh, N N Gabar, Netanyahu, uh, Dawayad. But then your, your tri tribal names were taken away with. You know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Gad, Manasseh, your nation, Israel. And said, so let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. And that happened. Let their names be put out of the earth. And that happened. For they have despised my covenant. And then that happened. And, and that ultimately happened over here in America. Because when you go into the history of Israel going into captivity under these different nations, they knew who they were when they went into captivity. And when they were delivered from that captivity, they were delivered knowing that they were Israelites. This is the only captivity where we don't know who we are. And we had to, you know, come upon the name of Israel. This is the book of Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And that's what happened. And now you still have the name Israel in remembrance, but who you who do you give credit to? Those gutter rats over there in the land of Israel, or other the Yemenite Jew and and them other so-called people that call themselves Israelites. But you don't when you look upon the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians here in America, you don't equate them with being the Israelites. And that's exactly what they did. And that's why the majority of these people out here are are blinded. And now, now through the spirit, the, the word is going out who the real Israelites are, and 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 it's going out on a on a large scale, on a massive scale, and you devils are getting nervous. That's why you're trying to sit there and do your alpha and omega ministries and all this other stuff, you know, to try to combat uh uh, uh the truth. But you can't fight against the Lord. Your arms are too short to box with God, man. What's wrong? What's your problem? You know. So now, uh, now that 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 happened. Uh, uh, there was a, um, a, a situation that, that, that took place here in America to where Israel started waking back up, you know? And this is the, uh, I'm, I'm going to jump to Isaiah, sorry. Just bear with me one second. This is the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 44. Uh, just give me one second here. Isaiah chapter 44. And I'm going to start at, uh, you know what, I started one and read down quick. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen, thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshua, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. Because at one time, this land was barren and dry of faith, you know. But then one, once the spirit of the Lord jumped on, on uh, excuse me, a man by the name of Abba Bivens, he started waking the, the, the uh, children of Israel back up to their nationality. So that's, that's began that water. That water started watering the different plant, plants that the Most High had planted before the world began, and then once that water touched those specific plants, they started waking up. It says, one shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. So that's that's when we, we started waking back up. You know, so like as the apostle Tahar said, you know, you know, you they took those names away from you, now you're getting those names back. You know, that's where you got brothers that got names, you know, the, the different names, you know, Ab Abba Ya Allah and, you know, and, um, and you know, they call themselves Samuel or Shamia Allah, you know, the different uh, Hebrew names, Shamshawan and uh, Dawud Dad and all those different uh, Hebrew names. Yeah, you mentioned 
question about the water? Done. Um, this is the book of uh, John 4 and 14. It says, But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, shall never thirst. Done. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. So that's that living water. So that's the same water that you read about in Isaiah 44 and 4. It says, well, beginning at the third verse, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That's that water that Yahweh Shai yep. said he would give. That living water. That living water, which is this word. God. And floods like bubble eye crackhead. Yeah. You know, he's he's a you know, he's a baptizing people in dirty water, and he thinks that's fulfilling the will of the Heavenly Father. That's why James White toyed with him like a cat with a mouse, man. Then he had... Then yeah, let me say this. I call, I'll say Elder, his, uh, his title. You know, I, yeah. I'm trying to be a, a, a nicer I mean, guy. Nicer you know, guy yeah, nicer, yeah. But I'm, if I'm mad, I'm going to go revert back to the name I'm used to calling you. But you know what, man? You need to fall the hell back. Yeah, just step Because the man. Most High is not dealing with you, with man. You. Yeah. Okay? Ain't no... You, you bring me some... Got them evidence that, that that there's some some a name a, a higher by Hashem Yeshai. You made that up, my man. Yeah, yeah. And then all the stuff that you scriptures that you that you spew out, you got that from Ariane, man. Right. Like you some deep guy, man. And Nate, we don't even hardly talk about him. He's yeah, basically an afterthought. Yeah, He's yeah, last year's news and shit, man. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. Y'all got it. Um, Isaiah 44 and 3, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses. And the reason why I read that, and well, Elder Apostle around, I've read it first, then I read it, is to back up what Yahweh I said back in John, the fourth chapter, the 14th verse, when he spoke about the living water. He said it shall be in him. Notice he said him. And he was talking to a woman, by the way, which was not an Israelite. She was of another nation, a heathen, if you will. And shall give him, uh, John 4 and 14, the, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. What is this water, this, this word, this knowledge, this understanding, which is springing up, you know? Right. I got a scripture here. This is Jeremiah uh, 29, verse 13. It says, And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. So you got to search for the Most High with all your heart. 14. And I will be found of you, saith Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith Yahweh. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Now, you got a bunch of Israelites, I don't know, maybe 10,000 of them that live in Israel. That's not the blessing. That's not the blessing. The blessing is when the Most High delivers us from all these different nations and brings us back to the land of Israel. First thing you got to do is destroy destroy the land of Israel with the maggot rats up in there, man. And then it's going to have to be rebuilt. Then you got these Edomites talking about the fulfillment. 1948 was the fulfillment of... Uh, of uh, Israel. Hey, the only way that could be the fulfillment of the Most High is if the Most High is one of the Rothschilds. Because that was a Rothschild's plan, plan, man. That was a Roth, Rothschild production. Them people over there ain't no the real Jews. They're going to have to be, that place is going to be destroyed by the Most High. And then the true children of Israel and them people over there, them Israelites over there living right over there now, they better get, a, get the hell up out of there, man. Because the Most High coming to deliver them, he gonna burn them up right along with them devils. That's right. Got a precept for you. Back Go ahead. Up. Well, let me finish this. Yeah. Fourteen again, and I will be found in you, say of Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all nations 
and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith Yahweh, and I will bring you again into the place hence I caused you to be carried away captive, which is the land of Israel, right? It says, because ye have said, Yahweh have raised us up prophets in Babylon. So we're in Babylon all over again. Do you understand that, James White? That there's, when you read Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, and Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, where it speaks about Isaiah, the 47th chapter, where it speaks about Babylon. You know there's two Babylons? You have the ancient Babylon. One of the rulers, the kings, was Nebuchadnezzar. And then you had uh, uh, the daughter of Babylon, which is, which is this place right here. But you don't know that because you're not prof you're not a you don't you guys don't deal with prophecy. We're prophets of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, um, El Apostle made a, a statement about uh, Israel has to be built up first. The, uh, the Lord has to get rid of the maggot rats. I think you you call them. Yeah, maggot rats. Yeah. <laughs> well. Hey, this is the book of Isaiah 61 and 4. It says, And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. Because right now, Israel is really in a state of desolation. It's really been that way since 70 AD. Even though they rebuilt it, you got Rothschild Boulevard. You got, uh, what else you got there? You got Pink City. You got yeah. Tel Aviv. And all. Lord is going to destroy all of that, Rothschild Boulevard. What an insult, you know? And the Rothschilds were the main ones behind our slavery, you know, financing the ships. Even before the Rothschilds came on the scene, you had, um, you had, uh, uh, you had the uh, Oppenheimers, which the Rothschilds they worked for the Oppenheimer family, and they were heavy in uh, financing the slave trade, so-called Jews. So Jews. Now they have the nerve to take over our land and build a Rothschild Boulevard. That's a that's a supreme insult, but it's all right because the Lord's going to destroy it, just like the apostle said, and just like the the prophecy is saying that I'm reading here. And they shall build the old wastes, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. Because pursuant to Ezekiel, what is it? Ezekiel 38 and 39, the land of Israel is going to be going to be cleansed by those nuclear missiles. Ezekiel 39, 38 and 39, which again is prophecy. How come Mr. James White don't talk about that? How come you don't talk about the fact that the land of Israel is going to be uh, uh, cleansed by nuclear missiles, by fire? Nuclear missiles in the chariots. You don't talk about that because you're not a prophet, man. Talking to you, Mr. White, Breaking Bad, you're not a prophet. And your sidekick, he's not a prophet either. What's his name? Vocab Malone? You guys, yeah, you're a little, they're, you're two, two little guppies in a fishbowl, man. And this is way above your pay grade, all right? <laughs> go go ahead, brother. You got it. Uh, okay. Come yeah. on in now. I mean, come on in now. Got to be quick around here, man. <laughs> this is um, Baruch, the second chapter, and... <laughs> The second chapter in the 31st verse, it says, I mean, you know, I can go up above that. Okay. All right, yes. Uh, Baruch, the second chapter in the uh, 30th verse on down, it says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, and we're in our last captivities, they shall remember themselves. And shall know that I am Yahweh, their, their, their God, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. Talking about here. And think upon my name. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which they are Israelites, including the Gentiles in the New Testament, which sin before the Most High. 34, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, 
Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, I'm thinking right Galatians, the third chapter, where it speaks about the Jews for those history. And you don't know how to put, bring this book together, you're going to be lost. That's why you got guys to this day that are teaching, they come across the word Gentile in the New Testament, all of a sudden it's talking about some, someone outside of the nation of Israel. Those Gentiles, like Romans, the 11th chapter, anywhere it says Gentiles, it's talking about Israelites. When it speaks about uh, Cornelius in Acts, uh, uh, the, the 10th chapter, the 11th chapter, it's talking about Israelites. Cornelius was the Israelite. Yeah, I, made, I made a statement about the land of Israel always being waste. Well, here's the prophecy. <laughs> Again, prophecy. Ezekiel, and one of the nations, one of the countries or corporations that's going to destroy Israel. Yeah, one of the corporations that's going to destroy Israel is Russia. You know? It's off? Okay. Well, you brothers on the comment board, let us know if we're still streaming live. You know, every now and then, just let us know. You're hearing it. You're seeing us. Ezekiel 38 and 8, it says, After many days thou shalt be visited. In the latter, day, in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and has gathered out many people against the mountains of Israel, here's the point, which have always been waste. So even though you built up Rothschild Boulevard, you built up Tel Aviv, Pink City, and all that, in the eyes of the Lord, that land has always been waste ever since the tabernacles were destroyed after 70 AD. That land has always been waste. All right? I believe they had something called the kibbutz, where they actually brought in plants and trees. and Right, because that land is cursed, because you don't belong there. You so-called Jews that call yourself uh, Jewish, you don't belong there. That's not your land. That's, why, that's one of the reasons why that land is cursed. Now, when we come back there, it tells us in the prophecy the, the, the trees are going to bud and flourish. The grass is going to flourish. You know? The land is going to become like the Garden of Eden. Right? Like it says in the prophecy. So, again, that's something Mr. White from Alpha and Omega uh, Ministries will not teach because he, he doesn't know about prophecy. He's not a prophet, right? You got it, brother. Yeah, and uh, once, once the real Israelites get into their land, there's not going to be any more, war, any more wars around the world. You know, that's another way you know that those uh, gutter rats are not, are not Israelites. You know, they, they, they claim to be Israelites uh, through a conversion that, that happened during the Khazarian Empire, but that don't make a, a convert doesn't, uh, when you convert to a religion, that does not make you that the nation of those, of, of those people. You know, because a religion, you know, is, is not how you uh, um, become a, a nationality. The nationality is based off of your fathers, who your fathers are. Now, this is going back to uh, the Israelite foreigner topic. Um, this is in is uh, Ezekiel 37 and 18. It says, And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not? I'm sorry, I'll read up above that verse 15. I, 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 Ezekiel 37, 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for their children, for the children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. Why? Because, you know, you had a, a separation. When you go back into the history, there was a separation between the, the nation of Israel. They became two nations uh, separated one from the other. You know, that's where you had the, the southern kingdom, which consisted of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And you had the northern kingdom, which consisted of Ephraim and the other nine tribes. You know? It says, and join them. And so the Lord said, you know, when you go out there to prophesy, you're going to take two sticks and you're going to write on one of them for Judah and for his companions. And on the other one, you're going to write it on it for Ephraim and his companions. And what you're going to do is you're going to join that stick together as one and join them one to another into one stick and, and they shall be become one in thine hand. That's why you always see the main sign that we have out 
uh, when we go out to speak on the streets is the 12 tribe sign because that's a commandment from the Lord uh, to us to put that sign up so that people can watch, walk by and read it because you've had different people walk by and read it. They read the sign and then when they don't see their name on it or they'll see their name on it and say, that's me. Or if they don't see their name on it, they'll say, well, what about me? Why am I, why am I not on that sign? You know, and that opens up a, a, a discussion. It says, and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. Why? Because that's the Lord closing up those breaches, building up the nation of Israel. Breaking down that middle wall of parti partition, uh, getting rid of the enmity and the animosity between the two kingdoms and the two nations and bringing them back into one fold. See, it says, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And that's what we have them out in, in the camps when we go out to speak and say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land and that's what's happening right now that's the gathering that the lord is grabbing all the israelites from that he wants of the elect first from from around the world by those sticks they they actually see the sticks and the lord is gathering them because we're at the point now where the lord is going to set back up the kingdom uh, of of the nation of Israel, which is the kingdom of His Son Yahweh Shai, and we being joint heirs with Him. It says, "And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, which is uh, King Masha, which is uh, King David, and they shall be no more two nations." See, so that's the point. There shall be no more two nations because there was a point where they were separated into two different nations. But the Lord said they're not going to be two nations anymore. That was the difference between the Jew and the Greek, you know, or the Jew and the Gentile. And that's why I said there's no difference between the Jew and the Gentile. Why? Because they're all Israelites. All 12 tribes. And they don't get it twisted. Those a lot of those Israelites that Paul went to, they were they were Judites. Judites and Benjamin Benjaminites. Okay? So, because they said this guy, Bubble Eyes, as you call him, Ricard, whatever, Elder Ricard, he said that that's talking about the Northern tribe. It ain't talking about the Northern tribes. Although you had the, uh, some of the North, uh, some of the Northern tribes over there, it was mainly talking about the Judites after the uh, so-called Northern Kingdom left. So you you understand it, but you don't fully understand it. That's why you still teach that Cornelius is an Israelite. And you still don't understand the breakdown of Romans, the 11th chapter. Those were Israelites. Yeah, to back up Elder Apostle Tar, you had the Hellenized Jews. They were what? Greek-speaking Jews. Yep. They were Jews that spoke Greek, Judah, Benjamin, Yeah, Levi. but that has nothing to do with those Gentiles. Yeah. You had Israelites that were scattered abroad that knew that they were Jews. When you go to Acts, it's the second chapter. Mm -hmm. um, they, for, for the three, three days out of the year, three times out of the year, those were Israelites that knew that they were Israelites that were living in those places that came. They said, okay, we're Israelites. But then you had other Israelites that didn't know. That's right. So they stumbled upon it. They ran into one of the disciples or heard that the disciples spoke. And then they said, oh, we're part of them. That's what it's talking about. Like the centurion. The centurion whose uh, servant was sick. That was an Israelite, man. Yeah, yeah. He's an Israelite, yep. No, I said he was a centurion. That means he's a cracker. Are you out your mind? Well, are, you, are you are you doing LSD? Yeah, Cornelius was a Mr. Spicoli. Are you doing drugs? Yeah, right. Cornelius was a centurion. A centurion was basically a a, a position. Yeah, position over. And Jake, and Jake had that had, had those, those positions. positions, just like Jake in this society, man. Yeah. Yeah, Jake. That 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 that, that are lieutenants, colonels, sergeants. You got you got Jakes that are mayors, senators. Hell, the president is not an Edomite. 
Yeah, that's right. It says, uh, <laughs> going back, going back to well, verse, it's a mystery. verse 22. And I, and, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountain of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, which is King David, you know, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. You know, so that's happening right now. You know, all the tribes are being brought back together. That's why he speaks about in the book of Amos about the tabernacles of David that are fallen, that the Lord has to build up. But prior to him building them up, he has to gather them from among these nations. You know? Tabernacles of David were all the tribes. That's right. It wasn't, just, it wasn't just Judah. Right. When David sits on the a throne, that means all the tribes are going to be back together. That's right. That's what that means. That's Did right. that happen? No. Is it, is it getting ready to happen? Yes. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. You got any closing thoughts? Because I'm gonna get ready to close. All right, I'm gonna just read this. All right, I noticed yesterday, man, <laughs> uh, it was a live show. Then after that live show, then there was another live show. I said, and I can't watch all of them. I watch a few, you know, because I'm doing things right. But this, but this is, but this is uh, scripture. That's scripture. Anyway, um, it says this. I'm gonna close on this. It says, uh, Psalms 19 and two. It says, day unto day. Utter his speech and night unto night showeth knowledge, and that's what's happening. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. You're gonna see brothers that, that's gonna make uh do live shows, they're doing videos, but they're gonna do live shows in their in their perspective language. All right. This, oh wow, that's 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 something else, man. Say go ahead, say again. Yeah, the brothers in LA, uh, the, the LA camp, the ancient days, uh, Espanol, Spanish, they do a live show in Spanish. Check that out. Let me do again. Psalms 19, verse 2. It says, Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Therefore, their line is going out throughout through all the earth, thanks to the YouTube, and their words to the end of the world. In them have he said, a tabernacle for the sun um five which is which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoicing as a strong man to run a race because this is a circuit this is a circuit man it goes on hey you can do one show on youtube right you can do a live show or a pre-recorded show and, and millions of people can watch it help billions of anybody that has a has a, com a computer or a, a laptop or whatever they can watch the show so i mean th this is it man this is it see esau man they, you should have double think this man when you let this thing out man you should have made a law saying no black people can deal with the youtube man because everybody's using it as their as their uh tele television stations right yeah like that people are actually doing regular shows man yeah. Yeah. doing production and all that regular shows on, but the, but the way this works is, you can hey a show can just pop up. You know I got a couple of shows that I did that I got to put up. So there's the shows are already there, man. They're already on the show, getting ready to be put up. That's right. Yeah, like in slavery, they had a rule: Jake couldn't read the Bible. That's right. That's right. So like you said, <laughs> this this thing, man, that you can't look. You there's nothing that you can do not do can't about do this nothing. thing, man. And we're too sharp for you, man. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to say uh, shallow one. We're going to close this thing. Shallow Stay strong. Don't get elect. weak, man. That's right. Don't lighten up, tighten up. And then, and, we in, and we're in we in a, a, a house cleaning. And um, I got a show that I'm going to upload. It's going to be called a GMS Learn How to Be an Asshole. All right? And with that, I'm going to say a shallow one.